Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? It's your boy Mark Nash. Today I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to find the tempo using Pro Tools. Uh, I'm going to show you two ways. Um, you can use Identify Beat or you can tap in the tempo. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure this conductor is clicked. If not, if the conductor is not selected, when you click over here to the event menu to try to use Identify Beat, it's going to be grayed out like that. Okay? So make sure that's clicked. Make sure this A to Z is clicked so you can zoom in and out on your session like that using T and R. Okay? T to zoom in, R to zoom out. So first thing first, let's find us our loop. And we're going to click the down arrow on our keyboard to start it. And we're going to click up arrow, click the up arrow um, on our keyboard to stop the loop. So... When you hear me say down, I'm pressing the down arrow. When you hear me say up, I'm pressing the up arrow to start the loop. Uh, go right here to loop playback, and you can just click that right there. You see it's, it's gone to load the loops on, so you know you're in loop playback when you see the arrow. That's looping the play button. So first thing first, let's find us a good loop. So you're going to grab that, slide it over to right where that's starting, zoom in to try to get it as perfect as possible. Hit the right, hit the right arrow on your keyboard to go to the end of that loop. Zoom out. Zoom in just to make sure you're starting it at the right spot. Try to get that as perfect as possible. And then you're just going to click play to make sure you got a good loop. All right, sounds good to me. Go up here to identify beat. Got a four bar loop. So we're going to hit one and five. And when you press enter, you're going to notice over here, that's going to change. All right. It's telling me it's 80.02. We have an advantage right here. We know this beat is already 80 beats per measure. We use this. Uh, I brought a beat in like this so we can um, know when we have it right for uh, demonstration purposes. So next thing you want to do just to get that perfect, unclick the conductor this time. Go to the tempo, type the number 80 in, press enter, and then you're in your grid. And then you're locked to the grid. All right. And this is important for a lot of reasons. Like I said, moving the chorus, uh, doing stutter edits, your delay, things like that. So the second way you can find this tempo is uh, by tapping it in. So let's undo everything we did. All right. And this time you're going to keep the conductor unchecked. Go to tempo. And you're going to tap the letter T on your keyboard as you're hitting play. You're going to notice this is going to start changing, going to the speed of how fast you're tapping T. And once it pretty much stops moving, that's going to be your tempo. Press enter and you'll be set. So let's click play. All right, you see it stop. Stop at 80. I press enter. And the grid switched again, and you can see the tempo is right there in your bar. Simple as that, man. Those are the two ways I like to uh, find the tempo. I like to tap it in, or I use Identify Beat. Uh, it's no right or wrong way. Figure out what works faster for you. And, um, yeah, this has been another tutorial. It's your boy, Mark Nash. Remember, dreams require sleep. Goals require effort. Go out there and get your goals, man. It's your boy, Mark Nash. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.